If you need to connect DVR, VNVR, VNIP camera, the same network, I have the solution for you. So keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins, and today we'll talk about universal CMS. If you have IP cameras and VRs and DVRs, you want to connect them in the same network, there's a solution for you. There's a free software. You can download it. You just click here in the description. There's a link to my blog, and there you can download the software, okay? Let's take a look here at the diagram. I have my computer, so you can understand better. I have a laptop connected to the internet. And I have them IP camera somewhere on internet. I also have DVR from Dawa and from Hike Vision with their cameras. We already did this in a previous lesson, right? We connect already DVRs and a software. I will do the same today, but using IP camera. So from my computer, I have a software. I need to give the IP of each camera, the user and the password so I can connect to them, okay? Let's just minimize this so you can see the software here. Uh, first, first thing uh, I want to show you guys is the live demo cameras, live demo cameras. We have here Dawa cameras. So you go to Dawa website, they have a lot of different cameras here online, right? So you can get one of them or a lot of them if you want to and do some tests, right? That's what I'm going to do today. So I have this software here. Is the CMS Universal CMS for H to sixty four DVRs and other cameras? I already have here an OptiView DVR connected with four, uh, different cameras here. I'm showing you guys three cameras. I have more cameras on the DVRs, but I'm just showing you guys three cameras. And here I want to connect an IP camera, so that's what I'm gonna do today. So I come here to the DAO website. I can get some NVR or DVR or IP camera. Let's see an IP camera here. I have DVR, NVR, the first IP camera, 12 megapixel fisheye camera. I will get the address of the camera. Look, now I'm not getting IP. I'm getting uh, an address that, that's a DDNS address. All right. Then I come here and I go to system, device manager. And here I can create another area. Let's say Dawa Office, okay? And on Dawa Office, I'm gonna add a device. So here, device, I'm not gonna use an IP. I'm gonna use a domain, so I click here, domain. I paste this that I just copied from the uh, Dawa website. Let's give it a name, Dawa 12 megapixel camera. Here's the port, I need to get there back there to get information of the port 1026 user and password let me just copy the password here and memorize the port and user okay so port will be 1026 dna is the user and the password i'm just gonna paste it here right dawa office a vendor is dawa and then connect then I wait for the software to find the camera and connect it. Here we go. I already have it here connected. Let me close this window. Come here and double click. Wait for the connection. Just a little bit more. And then I have it here the camera, right? I also have here the information that the connection was successful, right? So I just drag and drop it here. Wait for a while, just to connect. A little bit more to bring me image. We're working over the internet. Here we go. So you have a fisheye camera from Dawa with 12 megapixel, okay? So it's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. You just need to connect, uh, you just need to have the information, right? IP, port, user, and password. You just put all the information there, you connect to the camera, and you bring the image from the camera. So it works with DVRs, NVRs, and IP cameras, a kind of universal CMS, right? So that's all for today. If you want to try it, just go to my blog. I have the link here in the description. You can download your software for free, right? So leave your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments, okay? Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.